There's more to Vietnamese cuisine than pho, bun mi, and summer rolls. And if you really want to try Vietnamese cuisine, you have to try gạc ao tàu, which literally means fish, braised, and a clay pot. Unlike any other Vietnamese dish, this recipe consists of Vietnam's staple ingredients, fish sauce, palm sugar, peppercorns, and fish. And it's my argument that there isn't any other recipe that highlights Vietnamese heritage and history more than gạc ao tàu. I'm sure you've heard of fish sauce caramel. Yep, that's right. This is the dish, the mother dish that uses that technique for this recipe. But don't worry, I'll show you how to nail it with my secret chips in this recipe video. Vietnam is known as the birthplace of filtered fish sauce in Asia. And yes, it's very important to use the best fish sauce you can get. But just as important, you need high quality Vietnamese Khmer peppercorns. And quoting David Chang, Khmer peppercorns is black gold. And last, the use of palm sugar or coconut sugar adds a beautiful nutty complex taste that truly gives a Vietnamese signature to this dish. In Vietnamese American diaspora, catfish was the economical choice for this recipe. However, you could use this cooking technique to be applied to any sort of fish. My favorite fish for this recipe would be Sakana Blue Yellowtail. The Sakana Blue project honors Japanese fisheries and fish farms that implement place-based sustainability that is committed to environmentally responsible practices. What does that mean? It means sashimi quality fish with a low carbon footprint, container ships rather than air freight, cutting edge alcohol freezing technology that eliminates ice crystals that keep fish pristine, and fish that is traceable for transparency around animal welfare. Yellowtail like pork belly is amazing braised. It's succulent, juicy, and tender, especially if you cook it right. All this talk is making me hungry. Let's start cooking. Add two cups of palm sugar and a quarter cup of water and allow it to boil until it turns to a deep amber caramel color. Then gradually add half a cup of sun fish sauce to the caramel. Once that comes back up to simmer, add two tablespoons of cracked black peppercorns, half a serrano, half a cup of sliced ginger, tablespoons of minced lemongrass, and half a cup of coconut water. Allow the pot to reduce by 15%. Then gently add your yellowtail portions. Bring the pot to a simmer and then braise and baste the yellowtail for 30 minutes. And serve immediately. I like to have this over rice or even better, vermicelli rice noodles. And now it tastes amazing the next day. There you have it, my perfect version of gak kha thao, or Vietnamese caramelized fish with Sakana Blue Kagoshima farmed yellowtail. For the full recipe, please see the link in the description below. All right, everyone, that's it for today's episode on Cooking with Chef 2. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, but most importantly, hit the bell so that way you get notifications every time a new episode airs. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time on Cooking with Chef 2.